What's up YouTube? Sticks and Seams 2-5 coming at you with a video response today. This one's going out to my man Yankees42 aka Magnus. He asked us to show off our top five autographs in our collection. Uh, I could have went a few different ways with this one, um, you know, but I stuck to the baseballs. Uh, he actually shows off a lot of really nice autographs on his baseball collection, so I wanted to stay true to that. I'm cheating a little bit here on the front end and the back end, so I have six. I'm going to show off an on honorable mention first just because it's so clean and nice and I can't not show it, even though I'm a Red Sox fan. So my honorable mention is Jolton Joe DiMaggio. It's a beauty, clean, clean example. And I just want to preface all of my autographs are authenticated from PSA and JSA. So that was my honorable mention, Joe DiMaggio. Number five is Sandy Koufax. Another beautiful, clean example. I also have his autograph on a um, Cooperstown bat, but um, there we go on the Sandy Koufax. Beautiful. Let me see where we're going to jump to. All right, number four. And you're going to be like, whoa, this is number four. I'll explain why. Rest in peace, sir. Hank Aaron. This is inscribed Home Run King and hand numbered 117 out of 755. Beautiful. And my only Hank Aaron autograph in my whole collection. So, sorry, Adley. Let me turn you around. Uh, incidentally, I got that card for five bucks in a bargain bin at a card shop. That's insane. And I think that's a image variation as well. So super excited to have that. Um, up next, let's see, five, four, three is none other than Mickey Mantle. Obviously a ton of toning across the sweet spot, but the autograph is bright and um, presents real well. And this is JSA, full letter JSA authentication. Boom. Number two would be number one for me, but you'll see why. Number two is Teddy Ball Game. I love this one. I have a few uh, Ted Williams autographs, but this is my only one on a baseball. Love that. And when I show off my memorabilia, you understand why that one's so important uh, to me in my collection. And number one is the cheat. Uh, it's actually a multi-signed ball, but uh, there's a story behind it. I uh, used to be a huge, huge sports card collector. Had really awesome cards, tons of one-on-ones, things like that. And uh, one day I just decided, you know what, I'm going to reinvest and get a lot of memorabilia. Uh, displays nicer, what have you. So I sold off a lot of cards, a lot of cards I regret selling off. Um, but... This next item was my first purchase, and I wanted to get something like this to remind me what I was giving up, getting rid of all those good cards. So uh, without further ado, this is my 500 home run autograph ball, full letter JSA. Uh, not everybody, no Mantle, no Ted Williams, but I got Willie Mays and Harmon Killebrew, Hank Aaron on the sweet spot. We have Ernie Banks on this panel. We have Mike Schmidt and Reggie Jackson on top. And then we have Frank Robinson, Eddie Matthews, and Willie McCovey on that panel. So this is a beautiful, beautiful item in my collection. It's one of my favorite um, memorabilia pieces just because of what it meant to me. Um, like I said, I did sell quite a bit of cards, um, including my duplicate of my trout up update rookie um, some years back. I uh, wish I had that now, but I have this beautiful baseball. So that's it. Um, thanks a lot, Magnus. Um, you're always so generous and you have just awesome stuff. Love watching your videos. For those of you who do not check him out, definitely subscribe. He is not a fair weather follower fan. Um, if you're going to be sub to him, definitely you know, be all in, watch his videos, comment, interact. Um, and that's about it. Uh, I can respect that. So hope everybody's doing well out there and go Bucks.